Well, due to a slight change of plans right now, I'm in Fort Dodge. The original plan was to go to Council Bluffs with Navy Thomas 8, but he showed me on his phone application that it looked likely that about the time I get to Council Bluffs, they're going to be seeing rain for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So, end up getting there in four days of just sitting in the house not doing any riding. So, he suggested actually the night before that why don't I just head out and go to my sister's. Because if I had to be in the Omaha area for a number of days, that would actually cut into my visiting time with her. And it isn't like Navy Thomas and I haven't spent plenty of time together. He was at my place for about 14 days while his bike was getting fixed. He came to the meetup. He will be coming to another meetup with me besides. So probably this year at least four different times we're going to get a chance to spend time together. So. <clears throat> However, this may be one of either there may be either one or two times this year I get a chance to see my sister for a little bit of time. So decided to do it this way. Now something used to be there. I'm wondering now I've come down this is like their uh, restaurant row and one thing I see missing now I may be wrong I don't know Fort Dodge that well I'll have to ask her but I think there used to be a Kentucky Fried Chicken along here and I'm just wondering if some of what they're tearing down here used to be a Kentucky Fried Chicken. Not so sure. But anyway, this will work out. Even if it's four rainy days, I'll just spend time visiting with my sister and her, her family. Uh, my niece and her husband are here too. So it should all work out pretty good. And then I'll start posting some of my stuff from uh, St. Joseph. We went to St. Joseph yesterday and saw some more Jesse James stuff and the Wild West Museum and the Pony Express Museum. And of the three attractions, the one that I thought was going to be really not so great ended up being the best one. And that didn't even end up being uh, the Jesse James house. I mean, the Jesse James house was okay, but you can't really expect it to be much when it's a real tiny four-room house. And I mean, when I mean tiny, it was very, very tiny. But still, I mean, it's something you don't want to miss if you are into Wild West stuff and things like that. It's I think it cost all of four bucks to see it. So I was glad I did. So anyway, that's about all for now. I will talk to you guys later.